Sue Richards is an internationally known harpist, teacher, arranger, and composer. She has traveled the world performing as a soloist at the Somerset and Edinburgh Harp Festivals. Sue has recorded dozens of CDs and published many books of arrangements and original music for harp. She recently came to New Orleans to give a series of concerts and workshops at local libraries and hospitals. It was our pleasure to work with her and enjoy her elegant music. My musical background started when I was in kindergarten and my kindergarten teacher was also a piano teacher, so I took piano lessons from her uh, for several years until I was about 11 years old when my father went out and bought a pedal harp and brought it home and said, here, you're going to have harp lessons, isn't this great? Our local town, Norwalk, Ohio, used to have a concert series and the Angel Airs would come through and give concerts every year. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's where my father got inspired to, to give me harp lessons and then buy a harp. I just fell in love with Irish, Scottish, Celtic music and knew that I wanted to play it. Um, and it, it took a few years to sort of find the harp that I needed, but I discovered um, Irish sessions going on every week at the local alternative bookstore. And I started dragging that harp to those sessions and learned how to play, learned how to back up, and never looked back. It's a tune that was written by, well, composed by Turlough O'Carolan about 300 years ago. He was a blind Irish harper, and um, Fanny Power was one of his women friends, one of his many, many women patron friends. say about teaching is that I really love doing it, that 
You know, it's such a cliche, but I learn as much from my students as they do from me. And um, I, I just love the moment when they have that aha uh, moment happening. It makes me so proud to, to see where my students are going and, and how much they enjoy the harp. I think that's one of the things that I missed as a student myself, uh, learning the pedal harp, uh, was having any contact with, with other people who played the harp. Uh, and so, I, you know, that's one of the things that I make a big effort to do, is that they can have contact with each other, they can learn from each other. It's just a great experience. There's not a whole lot to say about my work as an arranger. It, it's just something that comes very natural to me. Um, it, it's something that I find hard to teach my students. I, I, if they bring arrangements to me, I can talk to them about what I like and what I don't like. Um, but when I do it myself, I just kind of stream of conscious, the notes go onto the page. and. Um, I, I don't know how it happens, it's all a mystery to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. My advice to young harpists, harpers, is to look for the fun in the music and don't be afraid to play in front of people, to, to play with other people, to play with other instruments. Um, just don't be afraid of it. You know, think about the things that you can do and get out there and do it. This program was supported by grants from the American Harp Society and the Louisiana Division of the Arts, Office of Culture, Recreation, and Tourism, as administered by the Arts Council of New Orleans. It is sponsored by Musicians for Music, the Dutch Alley Artist Co-op, and the Jefferson Parish Library. Audio and video production is by Carlos Valladares. I am your host, Patrice Fisher. <laughs>